This is Info Live TV headline news. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Recent polls predicted a landslide victory for Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni over her main opponent, Transportation Minister Shaul Mofaz, in Wednesday's Kadima primaries. The poll conducted by Haaretz and Channel 10 two days before Kadima voters go to the ballot box predicted that Livni would win 47 percent of the vote and Mofaz would win 28 percent, while Interior Minister Meir Shitrit and Public Security Minister Avi Deichter would each win 6 percent. The family of abducted IDF soldier Gilad Shalit blasted the transfer of money from Israel to the Gaza Strip on Tuesday as tantamount to the funding of terror. Noam Shalit, the father of Gilad Shalit, said that not only is the state of Israel not applying pressure in order to release his kidnapped son, but it is also transferring money which could be used to finance terror attacks against Israeli citizens. Two weeks ago, Israel transferred millions of shekels of confiscated tax funds to a number of different organizations in the Gaza Strip. Twelve Palestinians were killed on Tuesday as Hamas terrorist forces clashed with rival terrorist groups in the Gaza Strip. Among those injured in the exchange of fire was the army of Islam leader Mumtaz Dogmush, who was involved in the kidnapping of IDF soldier Gilad Shalit. The fighting between Hamas forces and members of the Dogmush clan was the worst among Palestinians in the coastal territory since clashes in July, in which then more than a dozen people died. President Shimon Peres sailed on Tuesday morning aboard the Navy Tchanit battleship, which was hit by a Hezbollah-fired Chinese missile in the Second Lebanon War. Since its return to service last December, the ship took part in two successful operations and last week test-fired a Barak rocket, part of an Israeli-made anti-missile system. The commander of the Israeli Navy said the missile test was successful and the boat was now protected against future Hezbollah missile fire. Stocks traded on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange opened sharply lower on Tuesday, rocked by the collapse of Lehman Brothers and the worst share price losses on Wall Street since the September 11th attack seven years ago. The banking sector was hit particularly hard, with Bank Apolim sliding 6.8 percent in heavy trading. The technology sector was also badly shaken, with the Teltech index down 4.7 percent. The U.S. dollar also lost ground vis-à-vis -vis the shekel, losing 1.4 percent to trade at 3.54 shekels. New on InfoLive TV, a link that grants access to a wide range of InfoLive TV video reports. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.